What they won't tell you is today's topic. Thank you for joining Dominican Rendezvous again today. And I just wanted to continue uh, a few more thoughts on real estate and buying property in the Dominican Republic. Many of you keep asking me these kinds of questions. And um, I'm more than happy to uh, share my thoughts, my experience, and my knowledge on this to, uh, as far as I can. Um, having said that, let's get right into what I wanted to talk about today. And that topic, once again, is what they won't tell you. Um, there's a few things that you need to know, um, as, as I've mentioned in other videos, there's a lot of things you need to know before you start diving in and buying real estate, but I'm going to add to uh, this growing list. Um, if you've bought property, say in the West, and particularly in the United States, you are familiar with an MLS system, the Multiple Listing Service. Um, basically, if you're not familiar with a multiple listing service, is basically all the agents list property um, in this one site, if you will, or one service called an MLS system, and their agents can go and you can go and look for, for various properties um, accordingly, and it gives you a lot of information in the MLS system uh, about the property and the, the, the house or apartment or condo or whatever it is you're looking for. So, having said that, there is no official MLS system in the Dominican Republic. Now, most agents, again, in the West will use MLS, but in the Dominican Republic, there is no system. So keep that in mind, that there is no MLS system, multi-listing, multiple listing um, site or system in the Dominican Republic. Secondly, most real estate agencies in the Dominican Republic do not have much or any experience dealing with foreigners. So when you find an agency that you're willing to, to work with, whether you're planning to sell your property or perhaps even buy a property and you're seeking their help to help you buy a property, um, make sure that one of the things that you check, among all the other things that you need to check, is if they had experience um, dealing with foreigners and selling foreigners property or helping foreigners buy property. It's a good thing to ask and a good thing to look for because after all, you want someone to be on your side and helping you uh, through the process if at all possible. Now, there are also in the Dominican Republic very, very few in total um, exclusive listings. You have multiple companies um, selling the same property. You'll see a property that'll have four or five, six different real estate agencies with their placards or their signs uh, on the windows or on the doors or the fences or whatever. So there is no exclusive listing uh, for many properties uh, in, the, in the Dominican Republic. The owners are basically just trying to get it sold and sold as quickly and at as high prices as they can. Again, as you've heard me talk about before, many of the agents in the Dominican Republic are not licensed as they are in the United States, uh, in the case of the United States, by state agencies uh, in the Dominican Republic. Anybody can basically be a real estate agent. There are foreigners who go there who sell property, and you could sell property if you so choose. So many of them are not licensed. And you may say, well, you know, big deal. What has a license got to do with anything? Well, a good thing is, is that a license does show that you have at least studied the industry. You've studied the uh, market. Um, you understand how the market works. You understand how the finances work um, uh, in the Dominican Republic, of course, in this situation. Uh, and so I think having a license is a good thing, but it, most of them don't have it in the Dominican Republic. Now, you are able to go online there are many websites uh Corotos is one that comes to mind very quickly uh that do have listings of properties uh that you can look a lot of real estate agencies have listings of, of various properties also on their websites but many of them are not kept up to date you may see something you like and you may find out that that was for sale three or four years ago and it was sold or no longer available so just keep in mind as you're looking through that a lot of the websites are not kept up to date with the current um, availability, if you will, or inventory of, of properties. Now, going back to agents, again, most agents in the Dominican Republic typically work for sellers. Okay, so they're looking out for the seller's interest in the, for the most part. Now, if you can find one who's going to stick with you as a buying agent, um, then that's a good thing. But of course, you've heard me say um, many, many times before, 
by all means, by all means, go and get yourself a lawyer who will advocate um, on your behalf as much as possible when it comes to the real estate issues. Lastly, let me say this. If you are thinking about buying a property a, that is a new property development, uh, they're building the property in a development, let's say, and then you can design your own house and whatever it is that they're doing over there and choose your own materials, et cetera, et cetera. That's a good thing. However, just keep in mind that it does take a lot longer than you would normally expect and certainly probably longer than you're being told. So just keep that mind, be flexible uh, for that. That's something that many people won't tell you. Just keep that in mind as an additional tip. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.